Hi everyone, I'm Anthony Costa and I'm here in Swansea to support Woodstock Festival in aid of Mini Tears Animal Rescue. They do a fantastic job. In the last 12 years, they've rehomed over 25,000 dogs. They do a brilliant, brilliant job. They're brilliant people and they're just so hard working. So make sure you dig deep, donate whatever you can. Go on this website here, www.manytears.co.uk. Rescue Dogs Rock! Okay, I'm about to walk a Pomeranian. Um, basically, she didn't know she was pregnant, and the owner, well, was, was she was about to be drowned, really, because she just had enough of breeding. And to the owner at that time, she was useless, and I think it's absolutely disgusting that the owner didn't even know that her, his, own, his or her own dog was pregnant. Um, she's just had a litter of puppies in the last week or so, and they're absolutely beautiful. So I am gonna take her for a little walk. Good girl. Yes. Thank you. Amber. 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 they have a bad litter or they don't want to spend any more money on it, then they just get rid of them. And lucky that we get them, if anything. Because if we weren't going to get them, they will just die. That is the, the sad, straight story of it. So what would happen to Orchard then if, if you know, eventually, do you know what I mean? Because yeah. you've yeah. got that sad story here with yeah. Amble, and Orchard obviously has had two puppies. Yeah. Um, she just looks absolutely Drained, just drained, drained yeah. devastated, yeah. sad. Yeah. Well, that's, that's probably why they're getting her up. She's not, she's not getting out litters anymore, is she? She's, she's not worth the money and the time to the people anymore. So she wouldn't just be left to die. And if someone wants to donate, and they and literally, they, you know, a family want to say take Orchard without the puppies after the age of which the puppies can be separated, uh, that's no problem. That's what we will be aiming to do. We will be homing, rehoming, yeah. Or in an ideal world, someone's come in and got eleven. It's actually probably better to split them, right. believe it or not. Um, it's just you, you get all kinds of, of problems with siblings when it comes to dogs. Yeah, yeah, you get you get you do get you do get the conflict. Humble. Amber may not have wanted a walk, but the many tears workers weren't going to let me off that easily. Instead, they wanted me to walk tidy. But what, what's tidy look like? <laughs> Who's tidy? Mark, where's tidy? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm going to make it tidy for you. You won't be disappointed. Now that's a Martin dog. Martin needs to walk that dog. <laughs> yeah, come on. <laughs> Posh. Posh. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I've got posh there. Posh. 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 Somehow I escaped Tidy's giant paws and ended up with Posh instead as our dog walking group took to the country lanes of Wales. I think I've got Posh. He's a bit quiet actually. She's not got a mind of her own like um, Bass has that Carl's got. She's sort of ruling him a little bit. She's taking Carl for a ball. But you've got to look at Tidy that Martin's got. It's ridiculous. Before I knew it, the day was over and my time at many teams as a volunteer had come to an end. 
Uh, I've had a fantastic day. I'm here with uh, fellow cast members Rachel, Knott and Andy Joseph. And we were just saying how amazing the people are here today. And um, it's been great walking dogs, seeing different dogs, seeing different types of dogs. And all I can say is if you've got any money to donate, anything you can, just dig deep and um, yeah, log on to the website. See you soon.